Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Goodwill thrift flip. I found this large ceramic joy canister at Goodwill and I knew this would make a really good flip. This picture was half price and had great makeover potential as well. These pieces sat for about a week because I got busy with other things. So when I did get around to doing my taping, I knew that the spray paint had fully cured and shouldn't come off once I pulled my painter's tape. So I took uh, one long strip and went from one side to the other and tried to smooth down the edges um, as best as possible. And then I repeated that step three more times and I ended up with four pieces of tape and a very slim area in between the blue spaces. And this is the result of all my taping. I tried to make the uh, white spaces as even as possible, but didn't quite work out. So I grabbed uh, Folk Art Rose Gold Multi-Surface and I used a makeup sponge and applied that to all of the white spaces. And I did three coats of the Rose Gold. The instructions say to wait one hour in between coats to allow to properly dry. After the final coat, I left it for like an hour and a half and then I went back to it and I was a little nervous, but then after I pulled the first piece of tape and I saw how clean the lines looked, I was so happy that I just finished pulling off the rest of the tape and how satisfying is it when you're pulling off painter's tape? I really love the way the rose gold metallic looks against the glossy white and I'm happy that I decided not to paint the entire lid a solid color and only around the perimeter to match the stripes on the bottom of the canister so it wouldn't be so overpowering. This canister looks fantastic just with the paint job alone. Like I said, I'm very happy with the way the stripes turned out against the glossy white, but I grabbed a bit of Mod Podge and I had printed some French labels from Pinterest and I wanted to add a label to the front of the canister. I applied a generous amount of Mod Podge to the back of the label and then applied it to the canister, pressing around the edges and trying to get out any wrinkles or bubbles to make it lay as smooth as possible. And then I went around the edges with more Mod Podge to help the label to completely lay flat against the ceramic.
And with my label drying, I took a faceted acrylic knob I found on Amazon and applied Gorilla Clear Grip Glue to attach it to the top of the canister. And now for the picture. Initially, I applied a label that I found from Pinterest, but then I removed it and I decided to use one of these transfers that I recently hauled from Dollar Tree. So I snipped off the uh, blush colored rose transfers and applied one to each side of the picture. A little bit of it didn't want to come off, so I was kind of nervous and I was scraping more with the little plastic card and hoping that the full transfer would come off. And luckily it did and it really looks beautiful. Repeated the same step and the transfer came off very nicely on the opposite side as well. I wanted to add a raised embellishment to this picture since it was so smooth and really didn't have much character to it. So I used white apple barrel matte paint and I colored a row of these flower gems and then applied them to the very bottom um, perimeter of the pitcher. And with the few that were left, I went ahead and applied to the handle since there was only three gems on it and I just snipped one to put at the very top and then two for the base of the handle. And then I used a little brown paint just to add a little bit of distressing in certain spots on the picture and then on the flower gems. But then I changed my mind about the brown. It was fine on the embellishment part, but not the other parts of the picture. So I ended up using jet black. And once everything fully dried on both pieces, I added a layer of Mod Podge over both the canister and the pitcher. And here's the final result of my Ooh La La canister makeover. I absolutely love it. And here's the small picture. Looks fantastic. I think both of these thrift flips were a success. But let me know in the comments, what do you think of these makeovers? Do they look better now or were the originals the best? the little channel that could finally hit 500. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has been subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I want to give away a $25 gift card to Dollar Tree. So be subscribed to this channel, like this video and comment 500 and I'll pick a winner on June 11th. Good luck.